In my research, I, I focus on household spending because I believe uh, in the recent recession, this is one of the most important uh, component of GDP. Overall, uh, um, consumption is uh, always the biggest component of GDP, is uh, around 70% of GDP uh, as a, uh, in, in the recent years after the war, basically. Um, so looking at consumption, why consumption drops, is always an important uh, uh, driving force uh, for uh, the business cycle, both recessions and booms. In particular, in these uh, years, uh, uh, consumption spending has been uh, part interesting because of the um, of the behavior of housing of the housing market. Uh, so, one uh, one other important feature of the recent economic outlook has been the um, the big boom and bust in the housing prices. And of course, this is something that hits households particularly heavily. Heavily. And so this is why looking at why households had to cut their spending is one of the main uh, important uh, uh, features to understand what, what happened, why mm, there was no demand and why there were, le was less job creation and uh, uh, why the economy has been uh, uh, behaving in a dramatic way. Savings for households is uh, one of the uh, most uh, useful tool uh, to smooth consumption over uh, their lifetime. So households, we like uh, to consume, uh, uh, having a, a relatively smooth path of consumption over, over our lifetime. We don't like to consume a lot when we have a good uh, uh, in, increase in salary for a year and then consume very little if we lose our job for a year. What we like is instead uh, uh, to mm, construct some buffer, uh, so accumulate wealth, uh, so that in case of uh, uh, reduction in our wage or job loss, we can uh, 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 reduce their buffer, this buffer of, of uh, saving, and use it to consume. Uh, in general, uh, if market, in financial markets were perfect, um, that should uh, that uh, I mean could be less uh, problematic because households could go to the banks, borrow money in case uh, of uh, losing their jobs uh, or in case of a big reduction in their wage, uh, and then repay when uh, their income uh, is catching up. Unfortunately, financial markets are not perfect, and in particular, households that are poorer tend to have uh, less access to credit. Um, these imply that uh, when lots of households in the U.S. are financially constrained and uh, they need to uh, uh, build up saving uh, buffers by themselves. This is actually precautionary savings. It's the savings that households uh, want to build to uh, make sure that they can face uh, uh, a loss in income without uh, having to cut in consumption spending. So we have a picture of the U.S. of the recent recession where we have uh, big increase in saving, but not saving in durable goods, rather saving in liquid assets, a big drop in consumption. If we look inside consumption, we have two main components, durable goods and non-durable goods. The biggest drop in consumption has been in durable goods. Uh, this is also due to the fact that uh, to borrow uh, to buy durable goods, households need collateral. And the value of this collateral dropped dramatically during the recent events because of the drop in housing prices. When households, when many households in the, in the economy start uh, increasing their desire of buffer in uh, safe assets and liquid assets, uh, this tend to decrease the interest rate of these assets because uh, the price of these assets increase, everybody wants to hold them, and, uh, and then people are more willing to accept lower return to hold this, interest, this, this type of assets. Uh, this tends to push interest rate down, and at some point households are willing to accept even a zero nominal interest rate to hold assets, uh, to hold liquid assets. Uh, this can mean also re real uh, interest rate that are negative because we know that typical inflation is positive so nominal interest rate uh, are not a real interest rate in terms of purchasing powers that uh, uh, people get as a return on their assets. Uh, the people are, are going to be willing to accept a real negative interest rate uh, even. 
of course, this is a problem. This is called liquidity trap. A liquidity trap is a situation in which the, the households are so desperate to hold liquid and safe assets that they are willing to accept a zero nominal interest rate. A liquidity trap is particularly problematic for a central bank because the standard, the conventional tool of monetary policy for a central bank is the, nominal, is the short term nominal interest rate. If this nominal interest rate is at zero, the central bank uh, cannot reduce the nominal interest rate further. And during a recession, what typically uh, the central bank can do to help mitigate uh, the economic uh, downturn is to cut nominal interest rate uh, to stimulate spending. Uh, this tool is not available at the moment, as it has not been available for a couple of years uh, since uh, 2008 when the econ US economy went into a liquidity trap. And so central bankers had to go and try to find non-conventional monetary policy to stimulate spending uh, uh, back up. The question is how households deleverage. So one thing I've, I mentioned so far is uh, households can deleverage by cutting in spending. And this is one natural way of doing it. If you want to increase your saving, you can just spend less and put your income on a checking account. Um, another way of deleveraging that households have access to is to work more. If they work more, they may have more income and they can use it to save more and increase their precautionary savings. Uh, however, a problem in the, in the recent recession is that uh, really when people wanted to work more, there were less jobs because the demand was lower because of the same reason, because people didn't want to spend. And so these tend to make the recession, this made the recession even harsher uh, by increasing unemployment level and uh, by uh, making labor markets much more tight uh, than, than usual. Thinking about government policy and uh, monetary policy uh, to face uh, the recession to help uh, stimulate spending is clearly uh, one of the important uh, uh, terms of debate, economic debate these days. Uh, our research showed that uh, um, there is uh, one natural way to help the economy in a situation of uh, financial crisis where households want to increase their precautionary savings, that is inject liquidity into the economy. Uh, so one policy recommendation that comes straight from our model is that uh, increasing uh, injecting liquidity in the system can help uh, mitigating the recession by helping stimulate demand. Uh, however, one interesting, one more subtle uh, uh, issue that uh, uh, we can understand uh, uh, thanks to our research is that how this liquidity is injected is very important. Uh, our research showed that uh, injecting liquidity in a, a, a lump sum fashion, so in a homogeneous way to households, uh, may be much less effective than uh, targeting people that are particularly uh, uh, prone to being liquidity constrained. Um, central bankers uh, uh, typically use nowadays and have been using uh, for a while uh, macroeconomic model that have uh, a representative agent. And this is uh, the typical macroeconomic model that has been uh, the workhorse macroeconomic model in the last uh, um, decades uh, uh, as typically features a representative agent uh, that uh, behave as all the agents in the economy. Uh, however, this, this, this recent uh, uh, crisis and the role of financial of precautionary savings and the uh, uh, financial access, access to credit, uh, make relevant to think about uh, the fact that uh, uh, in the same economy there, are, there is heterogeneity, so some households may desire to borrow at the same time when other households decide to lend. So, rich households or households with a lot of wealth uh, may decide to save and so to put their uh, um, income into uh, savings and lend uh, to other households in a sense through the intermediation sector. 
Uh, at the same time, there are people in the economy that are hit by bad shock, that have a loss of job or a reduction in their wage, that prefer to lend, to borrow, sorry. Um, and this is a key feature of our model that I think is important uh, that uh, um, is considered in, uh, in the models that central bankers use to think about uh, monetary policy these days, uh, to face uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, complexity of the uh, access to financial markets and the complexity of uh, uh, the reaction of the economy to a tightening of uh, uh, credit availability.